want you to come closer to the barrier. Okay. Thank you. Huh? You come closer to the barrier. Yeah. Okay. Hey, this is George Keller, Camp Chief 2011, we're the Orange County Auto Show. Will I survive? <laughs> Articulation. So now we're looking at, this is the Rubicon that I was just in. It's a 2011 Rubicon. What's cool is, okay, do you see the floor? Is that, is, is, okay, this is a 30 degree angle over there that it's going through. The ground clearance over there is about 10 inches that it does. All of the doors come off of that. I know, I'm thinking about why would you want for the, all of the doors to come off? And you know, I think it's that feeling of being truly outdoors. But it, I mean, if you, if you look at this, handles amazingly well over here where it says articulation they have you on different balances and they have it too so you feel like you're on level ground even though you're not here we're going up above that is at a 35 yes 35 degree angle going up as well as down you know what it took it like it was nothing i mean that car let me just say 
is well prepared for the hills of San Francisco, but especially for off-roading. It's always really cool because, you know, it's like I see all these things for off-roading. I didn't know how much people were doing their selves to make them ready for it, but these look like they're ready totally for off-roading. That's really cool. 2011 Jeep Rubicon. He said it started out in the mid 40s. They also do have other models too that um, are much more reasonable. You know what? It's really cool because if you take a look, not only are they show the Rubicon, it's just right where um, you can run a Jeep Cherokee as well as some other Jeeps that are out there. All perfect for off-roading.